play P2B. And... Oh, that's how to do the standard Minecraft stuff on how to crack it. So, I, I really want to try that Overwatch this way, so there's no snow snow. Okay. There we go, I told you the no snow is beautiful. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Tomorrow... I am going to start uploading videos. I already have one rendered out. I rendered out one today when I was uh, waiting to go to work. Today I only had time to render out one. And also, I feel like... Well, I, I don't really feel like I have to share it, but... Just to get some input, I am going to be putting together another PC for me. I'm going to actually buy this. I'm not going to do a stupid little video about... Just all these easy parts would be so good to I'm actually going to buy the parts that I, what I'm planning on. So, I might do a video about that, or post like the specs, like the parts of specs in a video, in one of these videos. Because it's, it's going to be AMD powered. I like AMD until I know it's powerful, but it's a lot of money to get Intel. And AMD, I'm not saying they're cheap and shitty. AMD is very reliable. I'm running a 4100 on PC right now. Which, it's... Okay, guys, I'm playing Clans 2. I... Or, uh, Ultra. Uh, 3 on Ultra. Like, StarCraft 2 on Ultra. So I'm able to play on my games, it's just I want to get another PC, have one for uploading, have one for rendering and all that. And this one, I'm, this computer I'm using now, I'm planning on upgrading the, the video card, and planning on upgrading the RAM and the processor. I just, I, I don't want to sit there and force all this process on one computer, I want to kind of like share responsibilities so it takes pressure off of one and put like split it between the two if it makes any sense because in processing a video when you're rendering it and all that, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of your CPU power, your processor power, it takes a lot to do so. And so, in having a second PC, I could still game and record while I am rendering out a video. And then I, I plan on getting a laptop so I can go a little mobile. Because I did have a laptop, and it was, it was a great laptop, but it was a prototype that they sold for ridiculously cheap. It should have been easily seven hundred to a thousand dollars but I only paid like three hundred for it so I can't complain too much about it but I am planning on some upgrades done and I'll be able to record uh, more games on PC but also I plan on getting an Avro Media what was that? The portable? Like, the portable which I really want to get because I'm pretty sure it would help my recording. Or I know it would help. It would take the, the stress off my processor. And I would be able to re I record at 720, which is fine with me. Me personally, I watch videos at 720. I don't go higher than 720, even if, even if uh, I can. I finish my sentence. But even if I can go higher than 720, I don't tend to because it, it, to me, 720 is good enough. It suits me just fine. And Apple Media, if you don't have it plugged in. Like, what I would do is I would set the settings up with it plugged in, then I would unplug it and have it running. 
to record to an SD card, which that that it records only 720, not 1080, and that doesn't bother me. But yeah, I I have plans like, you know, plans to do stuff. I feel bad. This video is fucking rambling on and on and on. But that is that. I honestly, I feel like I'm getting better at doing these videos. I honestly do. Still haven't set a topic to really talk about. But I feel like I'm getting better. I feel like it's getting easier to talk, to just ramble on than what it used to. I remember first trying this. Didn't know what to say. I talked about Borderlands, the game, and all that. And that was about it. Like, I really didn't know what to say. But, I, I, I I was watching a gameplay of Brick, which I didn't think I would like. But the way I'm playing, I feel like I should have chosen Brick instead of Mordecai. Not saying Mordecai is bad or anything. But Brick, for all the, his stats and all that, for his leveling up, all of his stats are kind of suited towards me. Which I think if I do a Let's Play on Borderlands 2, I'm pretty sure I will go with. There are new bounties available. Oh, I regret saying it, but I think I might go with Salvador. Just because he's the berserker of the what, six characters. I don't know, I remember uh, morning after I was talking about different I like one more character. I'd be kind of cool if did. I wish I would have done that for this one, but still, this is a great game. What? Don't tell me you just got good, I'm sorry. Not after I just... Uh, 73, can I compare it? Oh, it is stronger than mine. Then guess what? I, I know later on I will need to have a static move right now. I don't think it's Oh wait, I can also level up. Fuck, I might die. What is this? Reload speed. What is this? See, the thing is, I don't even know what. I don't even know what I want to choose with Mordecai because the skill trees on Borderlands 2 are so more. I don't even know how to work that correctly. The way I was going. There's, there's more to it, which I would understand going from this game to that. It's a sequel, so it has more options, whatever, but still, like. I don't know what I would really want to choose for Mordecai's here. That's why I'm going with like weapon, reload speed, and weapon damage. The stack is not that. It just doesn't look good. I don't know why. I just don't think it's good. Uh oh. Don't be shot out, Mom. Catch your breath. Yeah, and I know something else I can talk about. Something that I kind of mentioned in this session, and that is I watched I I, did, I watched a single video of my uh, 
YouTube. He does computer builds. And if you know who I'm talking about, but you have to understand, as someone who seriously knows computers, it pisses me off what he does. I'm going to explain. The dude he puts together, yeah, like said, video title. But the thing is, the dude doesn't know what he's talking about. Dude, he reads the box and acts as if he understands it. The dude has no idea what the fuck is. Like, if he's opinionated, it's, it's good to be opinionated. But to the point of thinking you know something when you really don't. To sit there and bullshit about You'd better run. like computers when there's a lot that goes into a computer instead of or pretty or they have big numbers to them. It's it's like an art putting together a PC, a, a genuinely good PC. And what he does, I feel like he's doing the dude. He, not tech savvy whatsoever. He has opinions like the worst, the worst games of this year and like the worst apps. To me, it feels like he's trying to be tech savvy. He hasn't even gotten into the basic stuff. And for that, I just I am a little disgusted with it. The dude read off these parts for a $400 PC build, and I only watched this video as because I'm following A and B on Twitter. I follow them on Twitter to see what they have to say because I love A and B products. I follow A and B, A and B Radeon, and then like their uh, I think it's like their promotional one or their sales one. That's uh, I think in relation to New Egg itself, because that's where I get the easy parts. But they tweeted out his video, and I looked at it. I remember a friend telling me that he's getting a computer, the uh, Radeon 770, the Gigahertz Edition. And they just happened to have mentioned a video of his that he done for the July build. That included the 770 gigahertz edition, or 7770 gigahertz edition. And so I'm like, okay, let's check it out. Well, I remember watching a video of this before, and I did not like my look. I just, I make impressions from looks, how he presents himself, and all that. But, I mean, I started watching the video. I watched the whole video just to see. What it was about see if it was any good in my opinion it wasn't a 400 dollars pc gaming build it, i thought it was complete shit i seriously thought it was complete shit because the guy this he chose the the radeon hd 7770 gigahertz edition i think it was like a one or two gig memory it, it's a it, a really good graphics card for its price. I think it's like a hundred, hundred and twenty bucks. It's a great, great, great fucking build, okay? Or a great fucking graphics card, not a build. The build is awful. But it's a great fucking graphics card. If you need a graphics card, I would recommend this if you're doing it on a budget. Me, me personally, I'm running a GTX 560. Uh, With a radial or not radial, uh, AMD 